All right, so welcome to 30 Second Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about Dropbox for Gmail. Now this is a really cool extension that lets you um, connect your Gmail and your Dropbox. So you can actually send and preview Dropbox files and links without leaving Gmail. Now this is a Chrome extension, so you need Google Chrome. Uh, which I am using right now. You can get that at uh, Google Chrome, google.com slash chrome. I'll put a link to uh, that as well. And then also uh, you need this extension. This is again called Dropbox for Gmail. Um, this is a free Google extension. So essentially it adds kind of a plugin to, G to Google Chrome. Now, as you can see at the top right, these are all other extensions that I'm using. Uh, and this will simply be added. So as you can see, I already have added it. If I hadn't, you would click this and it would install, it would confirm, and then it will install uh, into your uh, Google Chrome. So let's go to my email. So you can go to Gmail. It can be a Google Apps. You can see this is my company email. And let's open full screen so you guys can see. Here we have, it says your Dropbox is just a click away, which is great. So here, click on this down here, way down here, click on add file using Dropbox. It'll open my Dropbox, which as you can see, so you do need to have Dropbox installed. As you can see, I have all my Dropbox files here. So let's say we wanna add a cover letter. Okay, we're gonna add cover letter I'm going to send this to another email. Let's say this is another person. This is actually my personal Gmail. Here's my cover letter. So again, it's a regular Gmail email. It puts it, you can see in here. Hi there. Please take a look at my cover letter. Thank you and love it. All right. I'm going to send that off and we're going to open my personal Gmail. Here we go. Here's the cover letter. And as you can see, this is shared on Dropbox. It takes care of everything. It shares the file with the other person, so you don't have to do any of that. And it shows the file in Dropbox. So now the person can download it, all of these things, remove the link, all these, share it out with someone else, and there you have it. So now you have a way to connect Dropbox and Gmail. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tip. Um, if so, please consider sharing it below with our link and also joining our 30 Second Tech Tips uh, newsletter where you can get these tips and others, many others, uh, in your email inbox uh, several times per week. 